heads up. My wipers are screaming as hell. I gotta get new wipers now that I got a new windshield because my old windshield wipers ruined. I mean, my old windshield ruined my old wipers. Damn. Yeah, it's like, and they're practically new and they're already ruined because of it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Will coming at you with another video. So we are in my 2009 BMW 328i and we are going to hopefully be reviewing the BMS cowl filter delete. So hopefully this camera will be able to pick up the noise differences. Um, if it doesn't, at least hopefully we'll uh, be able to get my visual reactions. I'm sure that the camera can manage to pick that up. So I've been out driving, I, I've driven oh, close to 100 miles with them in now probably. And it's not any noticeable difference at idle or low engine speeds or anything like that. This road is under construction so it's like half paved and half not. Alright, there we go. Now we're on the paved part. So it really like doesn't make any difference until you get to about 3000 RPM. I mean, there is a difference the entire time, it's just not very noticeable. You can really hear the engine working, so I'm going to slow down, there are these train tracks coming up, I'm going to pretty much crawl over them and then floor it once I get past them. So slow down, alright. Oh, that noise, yeah! Oh, and once you get really close to the red line, like once you're past like 5,500 RPM coming up on 6,000, Boy, that noise is just, it's just, you just hear the, the cylinders or whatever, the, the engine just screaming. It's, it's so nice. I, I love the naturally aspirated motor when it winds out and it's just screaming. I mean, that's, that's sort of what my car is. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of noise in the low RPMs. I mean, it can be heard. It's, it's you know, I've, I've driven in other cars behind my car with someone else driving it can't really hear it in the interior of a car if you've got the windows rolled up. If you've got the windows down, you can hear it. But man, inside my car when it's screaming, and that's such an awesome sound. And like right now, we're cruising, we're at uh, 1500 RPM or just a little bit over, about 1600. And it is just, just fine. I mean, there's, you know, there's no excessive noises coming from the engine. You just hear it when you want to hear it, basically. So if you want to keep it quiet inside the car even with the cowl filter delete just keep the rpm flow uh, we are coming up to one of the roughest patches of road in charlotte's turning lane and it feels like we're on a rumble strip right now the first time i came to this stoplight after getting my coilovers i thought that my suspension was like shot already like i thought something had gone horribly wrong and it was just just how bad the road is and how much of a a good job the coilovers do of transmitting road feel. Now in a situation like that, really, you would not want that feel, but most of the roads in this world are much better paved than that, I think, or at least in my corner of the world. I wouldn't want to go so far as to speak for other places. Anyway, hopefully this light won't stay red too long for us and I can get to where I'm going and we can finish up talking about these cowl filters. Now, it is a weight reduction item. Uh, it's only like 10 pounds and it is sprung weight, so the difference between unsprung weight and sprung weight. Sprung weight is basically anything that is above the suspension. So unsprung weight would be like your wheels, your brakes, your suspension components, and sprung weight would be everything else. Now, 10 pounds and unsprung weight is a very big difference. Uh, I don't know the physics, so I don't want to like sit here and lie to you of why that is, but for, for whatever reason, unsprung weight makes a huge difference when you even chop off small bits. That's why when people are talking about wheels weighing about three pounds less a piece or something, and you think, oh, four wheels, three pounds, 12 pounds, that's nothing, but in unsprung weight, that's a lot more. So you'd really be a fool to buy this cowl filter delete solely for the weight reduction unless you're just going full on track build and you're counting every little weight, you strip your interior and things like that. 
Um, definitely not not where I'm going with this. I just wanted a little bit more sound. Um, they do say it helps cool the engine and BMWs in general, e even the naturally aspirated motors, but particularly the turbo motors, which uh, this cowl filter delete is really designed for the 335i, but it you know it's compatible with 328. And those cars really could use the extra cooling. Any little bit helps. Those cars do tend to run pretty hot, but so do the naturally aspirated motors. So I'm thankful that it should hopefully provide better cooling. And you know, on top of that, it just looks really nice to open the engine bay and not have it obscured. Like that's why I don't run the engine cover. I like looking at my engine. I don't wanna just look at a little piece of plastic and it doesn't matter. And for those of you wondering, so I think it would have been fine to just leave the wires running across the engine, but what instead I've done is zip tied them together and then zip tied them towards the back of the engine so that they're suspended just above the engine. So that way there's really no chance of the engine melting them. Though, like I said, I don't really think that that's an issue. One time, uh, you know, everybody makes mistakes when they work on their car. And one thing that I did before was I forgot to put them back in their clips before and I drove around for nearly a month with them just sitting on the engine and not knowing it and it didn't cause any problems um, you know I don't really like to get on camera and admit that I make mistakes working on my car but everybody does and I'm not a professional so I do make mistakes um, I made some you know mistakes with this car I made mistakes with other cars you just you live and you learn um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with my BMS cowl filter delete. Oh, I love that turn. It doesn't even look like anything special, but it's it's just a really easy turn to whip it around. Uh, I don't know if the camera actually picked up, but there was a little bit of tire squealing, and you can just pretty much, it's a really easy turn to kick the back end out of, and I really like it. Um, what else? Um, quick updates on the car. Uh, I'm really focused right now on trying to enhance the cosmetics a little bit. I want to get my front splitters for the M Sport bumper. I want to put the little blackout LED side markers, um, like Depot Smoke ones. I think that probably be next. Um, you know, just just finish topping it up, uh, strip these old window tints down, and retint the car. Get the new strip put on the windshield. Uh, the new windshield is great guys uh, I haven't really filmed a whole lot I'll try to insert some clips of just how it's working it's going to rain really hard soon you can probably tell from the camera I mean if I pop the sunroof open you can still see it's a little bit gloomy so maybe once it starts raining I can go drive around and get some clips of the uh, windshield wipers working on the new windshield I am probably gonna have to get new windshield wipers because my pitted windshield is pretty much it's taken a toll on the ones I have. I mean, they're they're fine. They're not dangerous or anything like that. They move the water, but some of the streaking pattern from the old windshield is still there, so that's something that I'll need to fix. So we're gonna see right now if the automatic wipers work with the new windshield, the rain sensor. So far, it's not looking good. Nope, there they go about what they did before. It's never perfect. Once I get some rain -X on this windshield, it'll be good to go. And I think I might need new wipers too. I think that the pitted windshield's kind of messed up these wipers even though they're barely new. They'll have the same streaking pattern that they were leaving, that the pitted windshield was leaving behind before. And they're dragging, so... Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I'm about to pull up to where I'm going, so I'm gonna end this video now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out a whole lot, so if you like the content I'm putting out, leave the videos thumbs up and there'll be more content coming. Uh, subscribe if you're new. This is a great place for BMW, uh, DIYs, information, just everything in general, so um, subscribe if you're not. Uh, turn on that bell notification so that you get upload get notified every time I upload a video. I'm trying to make up words here, combining uploaded and notified into one. Don't think that really works. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.